Welcome to The Open Word, an online ministry of Boone Open Bible Church. On today's program, we bring you a word from the pastor, featuring Phil Waldo. And now, here's Phil. Hey everyone, Pastor Phil here. I recently preached a series of sermons on the name and character of God. It's important for believers to have a good understanding of who God is and what he is like. There are so many misconceptions about him. Some in our modern society don't even believe he exists. And for those that do believe, there are still a lot of mischaracterizations. Some think that God is some kind of cosmic killjoy that just wants to take away anything that might be fun. Other people view God as sort of a menacing judge just waiting for you to mess up so that he can punish you. Then on the other end of the spectrum, some see God as only love and grace, so nothing matters and everything is okay. Even amongst longtime believers, there are various ideas about God. And because of their own sense of guilt and shame, some think that God doesn't really like them or that he is punishing them anytime anything goes wrong. Others tend to think of God as aloof and not really all that caring. And still others think he is so loving and gentle that he is soft on sin and would never punish or discipline anyone. A lot of these misconceptions come from lack of information. The Bible is our best source for knowing what God is really like, yet many only get their idea of God from pop culture or someone else's opinion. So let's do what we should and see what the Bible has to say. Listen to what God says about himself in Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. Let not the wise boast of their wisdom, or the strong boast of their strength, or the rich boast of their riches. But let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord, who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness on earth. For in these I delight, declares the Lord. That will be our starting point, and over the next few weeks, we will dive in deeper to get a better understanding of who God really is. And that's it for today. We'll see you next time.